What's up y'all? I'm again in the middle of a workout. It seems to be a pattern. I think I, I think I get most of my inspiration in the midst of working out. But anyway, I wanted to talk about drawing down through your hamstrings. This is an important cue that I've been requested to make a video about, so here I am. Now most people, whenever they do a squat or a lunge or some sort of leg movement, it's requiring flexion of the knee, they kind of just go down to the movement and have a generalized cue like keep your knee vertical with your shin and make sure you push through your heel. But that's really not good enough in my opinion because you're not really getting, getting to the source of the issue. And that's can you or are you or are you rather, blah blah, are you able to access your hamstrings? Are you able to access your glutes? Okay? But I think there's more emphasis on glutes than there are hamstrings. And hamstrings are so, so important. So I want to talk about them. Okay? So you have this wonderful muscle group called the hamstrings. And say this wonderful drawing, this stick drawing here, this person dropping into a squat. And say this person is dropping down this way, okay? vertically down into, into their squat. And they're probably going to have a little bit of a lean. This way, they're going to lean over with their hands in front of them like that as they sit down into their squat. Now, the action of the hamstring is to flex the knee. Okay, flexing the knee. That's one of the actions of the hamstring, but it's also to extend the hip. Okay, you also extend the hip. So if you go from this position to the straight up position, you're also extending. The hip, the hip gets extended, right? All the way up this way. So extension of the hip and flexion of the knee. Those are very important things to remember. So if the hamstring does that, why aren't we able to access or use them during our squat or lunge or whatever you're doing, deadlifts? Because it's important. If you actually use that muscle group, that huge muscle group, to support you in the negative phase of a movement while you're flexing the knee, as well as driving up into your full extension, you're gonna be that much stronger. And you'll probably put a lot less stress on your joints, your knees, your hips, all of that, okay? It's really that simple, y'all. Most hip dysfunction, most knee dysfunction or ankle dysfunction happens as a result of over-patterning. It's really not that complicated. People make it so complicated, like, oh, you need to get injections, you gotta wear orthotics, this and that, and it has its place. Orthotics have their place, steroids have their place, but I think it's like last resort, because a steroid injection is, is more often than not gonna degrade your joint. And if you haven't exhausted all your options, and most often than not, most people are not exhausting all their options, they haven't really dialed everything in, you know, before they kind of just relinquish their power to their condition or the tightness or the pain or whatever they're going through, they haven't really exhausted everything. They haven't really delved into strength training. They haven't really delved into nutrition, like really optimize it to the T, like really optimize their lifestyle habits. They haven't really done that yet. And so before you just jump into this idea that, well, this is just how it's going to be. I'm going to have pain all my life. I got to just kind of work around the issue and just do the best that I can. I still want to lift weights and look sexy and cool, so I'm just going to keep lifting heavy and avoiding the problem. You can't keep avoiding the problem. What you resist will persist. It will persist over and over and over. Okay, I'm done with my rant. Going back to the hamstrings. Hamstrings are important. Okay, you have to use it on your squat. So I'm going to show you some practical ways to actually engage and cue your hamstrings on a squat or a lunge or whatever else you do. Okay, so I'm going to turn this camera real quick. Boom. All right. Let's see if we can make this happen. Let this thing focus for a bit. Awesome. All right. So I'm going to get myself a PVC pipe. Okay. So a few things that you probably will need. PVC pipe or a buddy or a friend. Okay, to help you out with this. But basically you want to take your PVC pipe and place it oops, behind your hamstrings like this. And what you're going to do specifically is cue your partner, cue yourself to draw down into the stick. Okay, so you have your stick here, 
I want you to push the stick down with the back of your legs with lots and lots and lots of engagement all the way down and back up. And again, draw down as much as you can, back up. From the front, it looks like this. I'm going to draw down to my hands big time, back up, draw down. And then basically, without the stick, imagine the stick is still there. Or imagine that your partner's fingers are pushing your hamstrings up. You're going to push those fingers and push that stick down. Lots of engagement. Now notice my knees naturally track out as a result. Without twisting the floor, without spreading the floor, doing any of that. Just drawing down to your hamstrings. Boom. Okay? So it's a pretty amazing cue to incorporate into your squat. It's just drawing down. And before you even incorporate this cue, make sure you're bracing properly. So if you haven't checked out my video, how to breathe properly during your compound movements and getting stronger at every compound movement, make sure you check out those two videos first before you begin to incorporate this cue. All right, so drawing down through your hamstrings. Now the barbell, let me see if I can get this in a good, a good perspective here. Probably from the lateral side would be better. So I'm going to show you from the lateral part first. So the lateral, or the side view, will show you a good schematic of how I intentionally draw down. If I'm doing a back squat specifically, get in position, find my spot, take a deep breath, brace, step, step, ready to go. Huge breath. Drawing down. Okay? That's how you basically draw down through your hamstrings. All right? So be sure you really focus extra hard on drawing down. Now you can do the same exact thing on a lunge. Whichever leg you have forward, focus on drawing down to that specific leg, from the hamstring down. Whenever you're doing a deadlift, use your hamstring again. Pull back into your movement. Hinge back specifically and intentionally when you do your deadlifts. Be intentional about every movement. If you're going down to the negative phase, access the muscles required. If you're going to the concentric or the positive phase, access the muscles that are required. It's really that simple. And if you're weak there, you'll know because you really won't feel much in the way of turning those things on. You won't feel very stable in the negative phase of a squat, front squats or back squats or lunges. So incorporate that cue, draw down to the stick, the imaginary stick, draw down into your partner's fingers, and you're gonna feel so much more stable into your squat, avoid a bunch of knee pain, back pain, and the like. I'm not saying you don't have to twist the floor and spread the floor, but drawing down through your hamstrings, I feel is a lot more resourceful than just twisting the floor or spreading the floor. All right, so next time, peace.